Brothers and sisters, uh, welcome to Kigali. And thank you really for coming uh, all the way from far uh, to really participate in our conversation and celebration of uh, governance and leadership here. I have been instructed uh, very, very sternly that I only have five minutes, no more. And uh, so I cannot possibly welcome every person here in you know the way I would have loved to do personally. There are so many presidents, leaders here, and so allow me to say you are all welcome. Honors reserved. Uh, uh, but I really want to thank the people uh, and the government of Rwanda for the warm welcome. We felt that warmth, and that was really uh, uh, interesting. And uh, we are grateful for that. Uh, Brothers and sisters, it is wonderful to have a winner this year. You know, some years we don't have winners. Uh, but it's also wonderful that the winner is a she. And, uh, <laughs> Interesting is and also fitting that the she is honored here in Rwanda because <laughs> nobody, nobody did more for women than Rwanda. <laughs> nobody, nobody really addressed the gender issue as comprehensively as this country. So it is very fitting that we have our first female laureate to be honored on the, on the land of the, what I say, the female giants here. Uh, it's, 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 it's really interesting. The, our conversation tomorrow will focus on, as you heard, on public services, uh, its status, expectations, delivery, and the social contract between citizens and the state. There have been endless conferences in Africa or about Africa uh, discussing everything under the sun. You know, how we can con convince those reluctant foreigners to come and invest in this country. How do you, you know, clean their shoes or do this or, uh, and, but we never, I never heard of a conference or a meeting uh, really uh, to discuss about our own public service and public servants. This is the people who do our education, teach our kids, uh, the, 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 the guys who bring electricity, clean water, uh, hospitals, uh, hospital workers, nurses, uh, street cleaners, gardeners, the people who are doing everything around us. And we never stopped once to think what is going on in this sector, what those guys are doing, let alone saying thank you. So it is for those unsung heroes we really dedicate uh, this con conference uh, uh, tomorrow. Uh, I guess my time is almost up, maybe I have one minute now. and. Uh, Really, I, I cannot, uh, it would be a mess of me if I did not thank uh, our board members and prize committee because those people really, uh, without them there's no foundation. Can they stand up please to, and we thank them, thank them. Can you stand up, don't be shy, please. Thank you, thank you. And uh, I also want to wish to thank all those wonderful organizations which have, are enriching our meetings. This is not us, about us only, the foundation coming here and, uh, you know, 
arranging talks or whatever, but also to offer a platform for all the well-meaning people, all the African civil society, African institutions, etc., the international institutions, Central Africa, to come and really discuss issues here. I'm, I have to write this down because I was terrified of missing uh, somebody. These are the people who are running workshops here and having really interesting meetings. Uh, the B team, this is the business people. Uh, open government partnership, uh, the one campaign, uh, Blavetnik Oxford uh, uh, School of Government, the Institute of Innovation and Public Purpose at UCL, uh, SAWAS running summer school here, uh, the Africa Report, they had their debate today. I don't know what happened. We closed the African Union or we keep on. I, don't, <laughs> I left before the end. I don't know what you guys decided. Uh, I also would like the APRM uh, and the ICG, the International Crisis Group, uh, the African Philanthropy uh, Forum, uh, TBG and Satya, who are hosting the business discussions and the business meetings. Those are the money guys. And uh, I would like also to welcome uh, women political leaders who are having an important uh, meeting here. And I guess I'm, I think I'm a vice chair of this organization. I'm not a woman, but I'm an honorary woman. <laughs> and uh, somehow I'm involved with them as well. But it's wonderful that they're coming to form African chapters here, and the government is also uh, welcoming them. Really, thank you for all those wonderful people who come here and enrich our meetings. Uh, to have all this. Thank you very much. I'm only five minutes now. Thank you.